Hey everyone, welcome to Lightroom in a Snap. In this episode, I'll be showing you the extremely useful reference view tool and how it can help you create consistency in your edits across multiple photos. The steps I'll be showing in this episode are currently only available in Lightroom Classic. This is actually one of the biggest reasons why I continue to use Classic as my primary hub, at least from an editing tool standpoint. As always, if you're not familiar with the differences between the two Lightroom apps, I've included a link in the description of my blog post where I cover all the pros and cons of each version and provide some recommendations to help you decide which is the best for you. If you find this content helpful, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss new videos as they're released. If you choose to use the thanks button as well, you'll help directly support the work I put into these videos and my photography in general, and I'll be very, very grateful. But enough of that, let's jump on in today's quick tip. So let's assume I want to edit this raw photo I took on a recent trip to Oklahoma. I already edited another shot from this location, and I'd like to make sure this one looks similar so I have a consistent style from one to the other. Now I could start editing and bounce back and forth from one image to the next, but that's a bit of a pain and isn't very useful when trying to get a close match. This is a perfect example of where Lightroom Classic's reference view tool can be extremely useful. So I'm already on the photo I want to edit. I have a couple different ways I can launch the reference view mode. Number one is to simply come down to this RA button and click. As you can see, the reference view interface then launches. To exit the view, simply go and click on the loop view button, or even better, just hit the D key. Now I want to open that back up, so this time I'm going to hold down the shift key and press the R key on my keyboard. So it's shift plus R to launch reference view and the D key to exit. Once you have the reference view open, you'll need to let Lightroom know which image you want to use as the reference source. As you can see on the screen, you simply need to drag and drop a photo from the film strip along the bottom. Another option that you can actually do whether you already have reference view open or not is to right click on any photo in the film strip. In the menu that pops up, you'll see an option to set that image as the reference photo. Now that I have my reference photo selected, you can see that I'm able to work side by side, keeping the reference visible at all times. Now it is worth noting that if you try to crop the photo you're editing, you will be kicked back out to the normal view. You can also change the layout of the reference view by hitting the little drop down arrow to the right of the button and choosing top bottom instead of the default left and right. That said, I don't really find that layout to be terribly useful unless I'm working with a couple of wide panoramic shots. Now that we know how to launch the view, select our reference photo and change the layout, we're all set to start working on the edit for our active photo using our usual tools. You can even work with masks while in reference view. So if I want to work on dialing in the look of the water in my active photo so it better matches the photo on the left, I can do so. Maybe I'll just darken it down a bit and cool it off some as well to give it that nice greenish blue appearance that I like so much in the reference photo. I use reference view a lot when working on a set of photos from a specific location like this, but it's also extremely useful when working on any type of images. In this example from a recent photo shoot I did, I wanted to make sure I kept a consistent look and feel across multiple images. I basically edited the first one in the set and then used it as my reference as I worked on each of the others, helping me easily create a similar look across multiple photos as I worked on them. And that's Lightroom in a snap. 